You are a distributed learning student at Luther Seminary. Yes, I am. I have discerned a call to serve God and the Church in a ministry of word and sacrament. This program allows me to follow that call without uprooting my family and without completely giving up my employment while I am in school. It is an answer to years of prayer. You seem smart. It is too bad you are not a real student. By the time I graduate, I will have taken exactly the same classes as a residential student. But two-thirds of your courses will have been online. You cannot effectively learn on the Internet. The faculty disagrees with you. They report a high level of engagement in the online courses, especially from the DL students. Often there is more engagement than even in the on-campus courses. That sounds impressive. It is too bad you are not a real student. You seem impressive. It is too bad you are not a real listener. What? Never mind. Okay. It is also unfortunate that you will never have the chance to develop a sense of community with your future colleagues. What do you mean? Your cohort of about 20 people lives all over the country. You are only together twice each year. You are right. A group of adults who are committed to ministry for God and the community which bears his name and who have left their families and work obligations for two weeks at a time and who live together in a dormitory with no other distractions and spend up to seven hours each day together in class and who have to depend on each other for everything from rides to the store to study groups has no chance whatsoever of creating any sense of community. I am wallowing in the depths of despair. I am glad you are beginning to see it my way. Yes. Because in the age of Facebook and with shared online courses when we are not together in person there is no chance that we can nurture what paltry bonds may have been formed. We are doomed, I tell you, doomed. Wait. Are you being sarcastic? Do I really need to answer that question? Now are you being sarcastic in asking that question? Of course not. That is a good thing. With these robotic voices it is difficult to detect sarcasm. I hope you do not have to do a lot of preaching when you become a pastor. Did you know that Luther Seminary is trying to find ways for residential and commuter students to replicate the sense of community that the distributed learning students have? No. Have you been in the Roy Harrisville Dance Hall and Stube Hall at 7.15 in the morning or 9.30 in the evening during intensives to see the DL community during Devos? No. Have you been to Manning's when a DL cohort has had to put about five tables together and has taken over the room for a couple of hours? No. Have you seen Cohort 3's mascot? The Electric Leprechaun Boogie Woogie? No. But it sounds weird. It is indeed a little bit weird. But not any weirder than assuming that uprooting a family and holing yourself up in a house off campus or in an apartment on campus with all the daily demands of family and losing your means of income is a better way to create community than a distributed learning model. If they needed more money, distributed learning students could work at Target. True. Because that would adequately replace lost income from a professional position. And that way they wouldn't have to take out thousands more dollars in loans. Are you being sarcastic again? Of course not. I believe it is a great idea to saddle new pastors with as much debt as possible after they finish seminary. It still sounds as though you're trying to take the easy way out. Because balancing a job, family, and master's level seminary classes for six years all while serving the church in my hometown as part of my contextual learning component is definitely the easy way out. Don't you need a residential component? After I have done this for four years, I will have spent four months on campus, which is more than one semester. At that point, ask my family if I haven't yet had a residential component. Then get back to me with their answer. You seem smart. It's too bad you're not a real student.